Hello and welcome to this Dexco video tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to install water blocks by Cool Ants and MIPS on a Rampage 2 Extreme mainboard. First, a few notes before you get started. Hook up your mainboard and run it with its original heatsinks to make sure everything works. Make sure you are statically discharged before handling the mainboard. And keep in mind that removing the heatsinks voids your warranty. Install water blocks at your own risk. Now we can begin with removing the original heatsink. On the back of the mainboard you will find 10 screws that need to be removed. The heatsinks will not come off just from removing these screws since they are attached to some components with pretty strongly adhesive thermal grease. In the center of the mainboard you'll find the so-called QPI DRAM power card that has a small heatsink of its own. Unplug its cord, then remove the four screws in the corners. Now the heatsink can be lifted off. Next, pull upwards on the QPI DRAM power card to remove it from the board. The MOSFETs are attached with thermal pads and can be eased off of the board with little pressure. You'll need some patience to remove the heatsink off of the north and south bridge though. Apply pressure as evenly as possible and slowly separate the board from the heatsink. This task is a bit easier if the heatsink is warmed up since this softens the adhesive thermal grease underneath. Now the residue of the thermal grease needs to be cleaned off of the north and south bridge chips. I recommend using Arctic Clean or a similar cleaning agent since otherwise the adhesive grease can prove to be very tough to remove. Next, the thermal grease provided with the Coolant's water blocks can be applied to the north and south bridge. I recommend using a small plastic spatula or a finger wrapped in plastic foil to spread out the thermal grease until it covers the chip surfaces more or less evenly. Before the main water block can be installed, two thermal pads need to be applied to it. The thermal pads are provided with a block and are already cut down to the appropriate size. Now you can place the block onto the mainboard. Pull aside the lever of the upper PCI slot to make sure it doesn't get in the way of the block. Obviously you'll want to place the block with all of the threads properly aligned to the screw holes. Since it's a snug fit on the mainboard, this isn't too difficult to do. Now press the water block against the mainboard and turn both parts around. On the back of the mainboard, place a washer over a screw hole and then attach a screw. It's best to start with two threads that are diagonally across the block from each other. Repeat this process, placing down a washer, then attaching the screw, for each of the six threads available. Remember that the screws don't need to be tightened down strongly. All that's needed is firm and even contact between the block and the components on the board. Since the main water block is now installed, we can reattach the QPI DRAM power card. Next, we'll be installing the second part of the Coolant's block. This smaller block comes with a special bridging fitting that should be installed in the left thread on the main block. Then, screw the two spacers into the threads at the outer edge of the main block. Now, place an o-ring onto the fitting and place the smaller block onto the power card. Note that I never removed the original thermal pad from the QPI DRAM power card. A second o-ring needs to be placed inside the block's opening before the sealing fitting can be installed. The front part of the block is attached using two screws. These screws and the sealing fitting 
should be tightened evenly to ensure consistent and solid contact across all the components underneath the block. The installation of the main water block combination is now completed. Unfortunately, matching MOSFET heatsinks by coolants aren't available to me. I will demonstrate the installation with these MOSFET freezers made by MIPS instead. The original thermal pads can be reused for these heatsinks. They can be placed on the MOSFETs themselves or attached directly to the copper bases of the heatsinks. The MOSFET blocks are now installed in the same manner as the North and South Bridge heatsink. Place the block on the main board aligned with the screw holes and turn the main board around. Then place a washer over the screw hole and attach a screw. With these blocks it's particularly important not to tighten the screws too much, otherwise the mainboard PCB will get bowed. Repeat the same procedure for the second MOSFET block. Now it's finally done. The Rampage 2 Extreme is fully equipped with water blocks.